Hi, Phil. Hello, hello. Welcome. Yes, thank you. I, I see MJ on my screen. That must be you. Yes, that is me. <laughs> well, welcome. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. glad you joined us. Or yeah, this is my first. Uh, well, I suppose uh, I've been a beginner beginner since what February, end of February, or something like that. Yes. But I missed the I missed the March uh, one. So. So, how is your experience going so far? You've been with us for what three months or two months or whatever. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I like reading. Um, it's just that uh, it's the editing part, right? That's mm -hmm. <laughs> taking a bit <laughs> of time. <laughs> so I'm not really a fan of editing, but. Now, have you edited anything before? Uh, I have. I have. Actually, I, um, I, I, I do some uh, webinars. So I've, I've taught before, but it's. Yes very different right when you're teaching it's it, there's less specifications and there's less technicality in the video and the, the voice you know you can make mistakes or say the wrong things and it's fine you can keep it in <laughs> but uh yeah but it's very different um, not with the book that's right you gotta book, fix yeah. all that stuff yeah uh, or maybe it's also you know sometimes you want it to uh sound clean uh i don't know how to explain it like you know right in a book it, it has to be like sort of clean it has to be like quiet and you know any any little sound which would pass for perhaps my previous uh dealings with editing wouldn't really pass for a book so yeah. exactly exactly that's uh, my <laughs> my um my wife was sitting out there she's um uh i was saying i'm gonna be on a, i'm gonna be on the web and um she says, should I do it? I said, no, it doesn't matter. Norris doesn't bother these things. But, you know, the cats can come in. You can talk. It doesn't matter. It's with books. The microphone picks up everything. Welcome, Nicole. Hi. How are you? Didio. No, actually, that's not your name. I, I put that's your my name, name in. I'm Nicole Didio. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I just I just changed your catalog name to to Nicole Didio. That, that's that's yeah. that, that's nice of oh, God. Okay. And it does have the H, so please don't miss that. Lots of people like to re respell my name. And I see H O L E O. Well, if check it and let me know. I I okay. I have been known to make mistakes constantly, but you know, people tell me, Phil, you, you forgot to give me a book or something. Uh, we're talking with um, with with M J. I don't know. M J. Yeah, it's actually Mary Jane, but it's too long, so. MJ is fine. Musing, mute. Uh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear that. What? M I said um, it's Mary Jane actually because it's MJ, right? So I, but it's just too long. So. Well, we'll go with MJ. Good. Um, MJ talking better. about her first experiences. She's been with us for a couple of months, three months now, maybe. And yeah. the oh, we're talking about. Oh, hello, Patrick. Welcome. I think Pat. Did I let Patrick in? No. Um, talking about the fact that recording is fun. There's Patrick. I mean, to me, that's the exciting thing. Mm -hmm. I like to perform and, but their editing is, uh, it takes, <laughs> it's <laughs> tedious, tedious. The uh, best word I can use for it is it, 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 it's very close attention to detail for me. And I don't do that well. I have ADD and I'm always wanting to hurry up and go do something else. But anyway, welcome Patrick Thank and you, um, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Uh, beautiful pictures you guys have. I can never get my lights adjusted. <laughs> um, or whether you're beginners or old timers, you're welcome to this chat about LibriVox. Um, I'm starting a video series uh, that I'm asking people if they want to to make a, a little a little short video saying how I record. It will show your setup. Like for example, I use this. Um, uh, what is this? A Blue Yeti yeah. mic. Yeah. I use the USB plug-in. I use a PC. Oh, how I record. We have people that sit it on their sofa with the laptop <laughs> and just talk. We have people who go into closets. We have people who record in their car. Would you believe it? Because the car is a very quiet environment. I mean, if you're somewhere where it's noisy, they say you can go in there, close the door, and it's quiet. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put together a series of short videos simply saying, hey, this is my microphone, this is my 
I use Audacity, I use uh, GarageBand or whatever you use. Uh, these are my walls, like I showed, I have um, little some sound deadening curtains behind me that I bought many years ago. Uh, very simple setup, but maybe by showing each other how we do it, we can come up with ideas, you know, uh, things like that. Some people record into, into recorders. They have a little, uh, little record, they sit on their desk and they just read into that. And then they take that and they transfer it to something else to edit it. So how do you record, Lisa? Well, I have, um, I have a sound booth that my husband built because he likes to build stuff. So uh, he actually has a YouTube video on how he built this sound booth. But um, so I have that. And then I have, this is uh, the microphone that I use. It's a, uh, oh, he told me, I can't remember. It's like a, oh, a professional. Yeah, it is. It's a, uh, he told me what it was and I can't remember now. Um, but it, it is because my husband used to sell this, uh, he used to sell audio and video gear. So, oh, gee. <laughs> so he, uh, he just had this. I mean, this is um, a really nice microphone that he just it. had. It's a AT. 40, 50, CM5, something, something. I don't know. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I use. But, you know, I'm trying to, I want to start doing this professionally. So I had to like really, you know, get this built up. I, I, I am not a professional yet as I have not gotten paid for anything I've done. So. <laughs> okay. Well, we can talk about that too, about how do you get paid for stuff like that? You know, um, Years ago, I, I, I was doing that. <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, I stopped doing it because I'm retired. I don't, but it, it's, it, it's, it's fun. Actually, you go on your audition. You know, you pick a book and you audition for it. So anyway, and um, the author comes back or whoever is doing it and says, yeah, I like your voice for the, uh, the 80 year old man or whatever. <laughs> Patrick, have you recorded did anybody else in here do anything professionally? No, no, I, um, though I was interested to see that there's all sorts of um, um, interest and resources in it. Like I, I didn't know about the, um, I forget what it's called, ADX or something. Yes. ACX. Yeah. I've actually auditioned, I did one audition on that and I just found out today I didn't get it, which I'm not <laughs> surprised. But, um, you know, I, I will tell you, uh, doing the stuff on LibriVox has really uh, helped me gain the confidence to at least try. Yes. I am That's curious. Um, when you do it professional, I haven't ever done it professionally, but when you do it professionally, do they expect you to make your own edits and do your own checks? It depends. Nowadays, what I understand, ACX is the big bar on the block, by the way. They, they have many, many thousands of people looking to have their books recorded. So with them, you do your own edits. Uh, with other people, you send it in and and established people they have the, their own uh, audio expert that edit edit your stuff i can't tell you so it's yes and no uh i've got a book out there on tarlet training which i did about seven years ago it was cute you know <laughs> um but they they basically wanted me to um edit everything you know which show put put a, give them a clean track uh and at librivox trained me I mean, I train myself how to clean up things and make it make it presentable and put it into the what they call the volume they want. Professionally, they're going to want a lot of volume than LibriVox asks for, if I can use that phrase. Um, they, they'll give you the specifications as to exactly what bit rate, what all the other. They'll tell you what they want, and you ACX has their own. You put it into that. And by the way, I'm talking about this. You can go online, get an audio expert who will make a macro, meaning if, if you, that means a, um, a big approach. They'll take your voice and develop a macro. That means all you have to do is push a button when you finish recording, and it will automatically adjust all of your specifications to what ACX wants. I mean, you know, they're, they do this probably all day long. They take different people's voices and and make something that they'll adjust the volume, they'll adjust the bit rate, they'll adjust everything. So enough of that. Interesting. I didn't think we'd be talking about that, but that's fun. Now, I want to welcome everybody. If, if you're new and if you're not, if you're not new, I know Nicole's new. Uh, MJ, I know Patrick's. Oh, good. 
So what what has been your experiences with LibriVox? What um, bad, good, anything? It's oh, it's very been... difficult. Oh, sorry. You go first. No, go ahead. No, Cal. Sorry. Um, it was very difficult to figure out how to adjust my my uh, my recording to meet the to pass the checker. Um, but oh, you know, now I've got Amplify. I know how Amplify down is down. I figured out how to clean my my track. I am curious. You mentioned you have um, curtains around you mm -hmm. that prevent background noise. I have a very loud computer and it makes this whirring noise the whole <laughs> time I'm recording. So I have to remove that from the recording when when I'm I'm done. Um, but I'm curious if like the better microphone or the the sound blocking curtains has 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 improved your recordings to require less editing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you the biggest thing that helped me these I just bought online. The, they're, they're sound deadening curtains. They're built for that, and I have them hanging on on three wall, two walls, and then on a on a room divider right here that I can move back and forth. And they're heavy, and they they pick up and they they deaden a lot of the sound. But the biggest thing that helped me, I fought for years with my PC making this noise. Is I ran cables all the way to the closet, put it in the closet. I tried everything. Finally, I I realized I bought a computer with a solid state drive, and it's you can't hear it. It solved all of that hum. I don't have to take that hum out anymore. An SSD uh, is just amazing. So I forgot what you were, were talking about. Oh, what about the technical specifications, Nicole? You, you're mentioning all the other stuff, the, the noise level, the um, volume. But what about the tech specs? Did you have any trouble setting your, your getting those? You mean like switching it to mono, making sure it's four four one hundred? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I got all that down. Um, okay. Because I did download the checker, and when I drag and drop my MP3s into that, I'm getting a past notice now, which I'm very happy wow, about. Wow, you, gee, y'all are much more advanced than I ever was. I mean, actually <laughs> using the checker before you send it in—that's good. But what, what I found one what I found challenging was. Uh, and I still found challenging is I, I use a I use a USB mic, um, and there's just like it seems to me that there's too many, too many variables. You can change the gain on your mic. You can change the gain on your recording software. Mm -hmm. So I just found it, I found it confusing that you know, okay if I up this just a little bit and I bump that down just a little bit maybe I'll get a better response. So um, I realize it's actually a benefit to have all of these options but when i hear about folks talking about um you know using soundboards and, oh, and you know, much more advanced stuff oh. i can't even imagine the amount of uh <laughs> of figuring out what way to go on all of that particular stuff so i think i finally got it to work but um i do really rely on on audacity to up the volume three decibels or bring it down two decibels or whatever before i submit it that seems to work but it's still kind of a work in progress. The um, uh, uh, Patrick, I'm going to mention. I mean, let me look at my audacity. I, I'm I'm editing a track now, Voodoo Planet. You can't see what I'm doing here, but the loudness normalization in Audacity. If you're using that, there's a effect that I found maybe six months ago called loudness normalization, and what what LibriVox uses this 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 strange concept called loudness or uh, decibels, you know, it, it's nobody can pin it down. But what it is, it's perceived loudness. How loud does it sound? Okay, that's what they're they're looking at. Um, this edit, this in this uh, effect called loudness normalization, basically uh, takes my track when I'm through with it. Because I mean, it may be a little high, a little low. I don't have to check it. I just run this thing on it, and it puts it very close to eighty-nine decibels. Very close. Uh, and is that is that different from the regular effect called normalization? Is that one of the yes. like oh, additional ones you have to download? It's very no. It, it comes packaged in there. Apparently, it's it's new and one of the more recent things. Although I only have like two point three, but it's called loudness normalization. I'll have to look um, for that. Anything that uh, anything that helps. And what happened? Well, I guess I should bring my screen up. I can show you all this because I'm impressed by it. 
it's it adjusts the track to very close to um, uh, 89. What it uses is called LUFS, L-U-F-S. Only one, two, three, four, five. I see more people, but where are they? Is everybody in it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they are not admitting. Oh, gee. I apologize to the people I'm letting in here. Have y'all been, 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 been twiddling your thumbs somewhere? <laughs> Hello, Will, Will, Winifred. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> I okay. normally get a, 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 an announcement that there's people waiting in the waiting room. Oh. I didn't see them. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm going to share my screen if I can. Voodoo planet. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to apologize for the books I read. <laughs> I pick them for the most weird names I can think of. No. Um, share my screen, Phil. Come on. Do me. Do me. Come on. Right. Share screen. Oh, here's one right here. Okay. This is Voodoo Planet. Can anybody see my, my Audacity up there now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I mm -hmm. use Audacity. I use a PC and I use the USB plug-in mic as Patrick was just talking about. Uh, I tried and I bought interfaces that don't work. I mean, I, for me. But Okay. Um, when I finish recording this particular track, when I go through, I edit it. Uh, and all the way through, and it's ready to go. Before I save it as an MP3, I go to Effect, and I use this loudness normalization. Oh, I have to, I have to pick the whole track of it. And it gives me a perceived loudness level of negative 19 LUFS. That's an international, somebody out there probably knows what all that stands for, but it's perceived loudness. I found out that negative 19 puts it right around 88.5 or 89, 90.5, something like that. So I do that, pop, and that's it. And now it's adjusted. It's going to be, if I ran it through the checker, it would come very close to the, um, to the perceived level. I don't have I'm to. I'm definitely that, yeah. going to use that. That is so cool. Thank you. And I, that's interesting because see, that's, uh, that does not appear in my, in my version of Audacity. I don't, I don't remember which one. Which okay. version it is? But, I have uh, um, I have an old one, two point four. Yeah, my mine does not include that in the list of default effects. Mine only has. You see how underneath you have normalize. You have loudness normalization, and then two noise. down you have normalize. No, oh, normalize is right there. Yeah, that's where you. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't do that. I never do that. that yeah, that's that's, 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 that's the, the only one I have. That's so much perhaps I would need yeah. to to search and do the uh, where that Nyquist thing yeah, to download loudness. the loudness. I I would. To me, it, it's, whoops, it's great. Hey, I've Michelle. Been, I've been using Amplify. You can use Amplify, but the point is how much do you Amplify? The, you what, have, the, what the replay gain uh, that, difference is. That, that is the method I use to use replay gain, and it will tell you, well, you're, you're too high, to, you know, what, the reducer. Plus or, or two, lower. four. But I don't have to do that. I just use this. <laughs> I, I just skip that step and go straight to this one. Now, whether or not that has affected the quality, I, I've not gotten any response. It seems fine. It seems to work great, <laughs> great for me. Um, hey, Michelle. Hi there. Now, Michelle is another newbie. She's only been with us for what, a couple of months? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, oh, Michelle's no. been here a long it... time. We love it, Michelle. I'm trying to find you. Um, there is a problem. There's a lot of people posting to the uh, discussion thread that they can't get into the meeting. I Where? couldn't get in either. Right now? What happened? I had a hard Actually, time getting in too. I couldn't get in either. So I went to the uh, the announcement thread and I copied the the Sorry. standard link and now I'm in. Oh, but now Lori. I'm on the I'm on the discussion thread and I'm posting notice to who to yeah, everybody. What, what did I have the long the right wrong link, link or something? Yeah, what it looks well, like it, the big link in in the announcement thread, you know, the the very large font link, yeah, um, is different from the link in the signature. Oh, that's so, so the, the large one didn't work. So I checked the one in the signature, and that's the one Mich that did work. Michelle, right. please, yeah. please, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm on there. I've already I've already corrected it. And that's my notice. Okay. Mine. It's um. I don't know what to say. I, I so. had some difficulty getting in too. At first, it told me that you were in another meeting. Yeah, and yeah then that's what it said. I tried that's a different exactly link, and uh, then I had to, and then I had to register, which I didn't realize I would have to do. Yeah, no, that, no, 
the, yeah, that's the, new this that's time. something else. Yeah. Well, you should know the thing is, is that you shouldn't have had to register for this meeting. It was just the wrong link was put there, Phil. This, but I just posted notice to the well, forum. Hopefully, whoever's trying to get in now. Um, you want to take a minute and go to the forum and change the link in case anybody wants to come. I well, all I can say is I'm sorry. This this is confusing for me. I obviously <laughs> I did it. it I have the, the different meetings and I'm trying to keep no anyway. I'm I'm I even went to the other one to look and see if I'm that was there by mistake, but apparently um and I apologize. I mean I forgot about the meeting until I uh until I got that notice that people couldn't get in. So I'm still in my bathrobe and no matter. Well, good, but, well, but I well, wanted to come anyway. I, I appreciate you doing that because probably frustrated people out there saying he gave me this link and it don't work. Um maybe I should go in and change it. I don't know. Well one of them uh, did I, work. I, I saw there were two of them in there and mm -hmm. the first one I did didn't <laughs> work. And then there, then I went down the forum a little bit farther. And then the second one did work, but in both of them, I had to register to get in. And I thought you did that on purpose because a lot of people do no. that. So uh, that wasn't on purpose. Okay. No, <laughs> no, I, I've, I don't, I don't do that. I tried registration and it, and it confused. It got so confusing. I just don't do that anymore. But anyway, I appreciate your persistence. And once again, this is an example of a bunch of amateur people trying, <laughs> doing stuff and we just, trying our best and i apologize to all the people out there that could can't get in i like your background phil how about what, that how, how did you do that um oh zoom, you use your green let you upload thing. your own background now your oh. virtual background i was trying to shrink that down so it would be librivox home of i forget what it says home of happy doing, people doing fun books, fun books. Mm -hmm. okay nice. all right uh, christine you had trouble too I did the same thing everyone described. <clears throat> well, uh, I made it, I'm but I do know my friend it. Mary in Arkansas said she she yeah, was. I, I just posted to, uh, to hopefully she just got my my yeah. post and she'll be here in a few minutes. Okay, well, whatever. My intentions are good, and I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> so we were talking about um, uh, the, I was asking people what what the things were and lisa was saying that she um didn't how can i put that she, she got through the technical specs and then it's finally working out how to do the volume and the noise level and all that stuff so it passes checker so more people are using the checker mm -hmm. um is there anybody here i know you use it patrick do you use it oh yeah i use it all the time okay um mm -hmm. when for y'all i see I, I only use it to check stuff so i don't I, I use replay gain, I use amplify, I use noise reduction, and I use the checker. Okay, that's a good point. I, go, I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm starting a, a video series on how I record. Uh, hopefully, oh, like Michelle will do that for me, a little five, six, seven minute video on your, like, show us what type of microphone you use, what type of laptop you, you she, see, Michelle uses a laptop. Um, mm -hmm. What type of laptop, so what, type, what type of interface, um what type of all this stuff and and basically show us your room uh, um, my video that's that's available right now is just i showed my my wonderful sound deadening curtains <laughs> that are on the wall <laughs> and and my little um this is my pop filter i use that same microphone it's a little um you can't see it because yeah. i have the back Except mine is it's a little a cup that just slips right wall. over the end here you know, Phil, I, I saw I, I saw your video. I, I I was glad to see the video. One thing that occurred to me, I don't I don't know what I, I'm I'm looking for a boom to hold the mic because right mm -hmm. now it sits on the desk. Yeah. And I think I would get better um, you know, noise levels if I if I could have it closer to my mouth. So right now I like I prop it up on books or you know, depending on that particular session, I might have to put it up on two books versus one book. You get the situation. It's not a very stable situation. So anyway, I saw that you mentioned you had the mic, boom. And I was like, well, where do I get that? So is that like on, did you get that on Amazon? Is that Online, a special thing? But I, I bought a, a very expensive road mic. We were talking about microphones. I have a road mic sitting in a box on a shelf. And I have another very expensive. And, it, and, and with it, I got a boom. I'm using that boom because when you put it on your 
on your table, it causes noise. You don't know it. It's picking up. If it sits on your recording thing here, it's going to pick up vibrations. However, like if, you if you put your elbows on your desk, like if, I do. anything, and I realize every time I, I just barely tap it, the mic, it'll go up through your desk into the mic. So I have the boom on a, on a, I got it online. Okay. To answer your question, Patrick, um, it relieves that it's sitting attached to a bookshelf. That's very stable. And, and that way I can do all that I want and move around and the microphone doesn't pick up that. So that's good. Question, and you said Patrick. you record standing up, right? I do. Bill? I do. Mm -hmm. Up and up and down. So you can, uh, it you depends can really on how move my, around. I have, I've developed plantar, was it fasciitis? <laughs> oh, sheesh. <laughs> Uh, my, I had that my, a few years ago. It's oh, terrible. Lordy, it's a pain. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I need to stand up. <laughs> sometimes I need to stand up. <laughs> yeah, no, it ain't fun, bro. <laughs> yep. Um, I had that. It took me about six months to get over it. Yeah. And I had to do all kinds of exercises. Yeah. You know, you do the foot stretching exercises. Mm -hmm. Gets well, kind of you, and you have to wear. You have to wear arch support I'm, in your shoes. I'm not wearing nothing. I'm not wearing nothing. Not unless I see any evidence that it helps. I'm sorry. I'm I'm doing the exercise. I'm I'm I'm, I'm massaging my foot and um, but I'm not. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go into that. I, we didn't come here to talk <laughs> about our injuries and our. Um, but so it is we talked about painful. microphones, uh, getting into LibriVox, uh, understanding how the the forum works. Does anybody have any comment on the forum? That's one thing I want to do, Phil, is put together, a, I told y'all last time, speaking of last time, well, I got something to say about that, but um, um, I want to put together a beginner's tour of the forums, you know, sure. yeah. mm -hmm. and I would like to uh, have a few other people who really know the forums, because I'm still learning stuff about the forums, <laughs> but I mean, a beginner's tour should at least include how to add a signature, how to you know, what do the little things on the left mean? Like mm -hmm. when, it, when they're mm -hmm. lit up and when they're not and where to find things. And what is a sticky? One of the old posts says something sticky? about check the stickies. Check the stickies. Check the stickies. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's the things that are always at the top. The things that are always, you know, any any forum that you open, the stickies are at the top. And they, oh, that's like there, the, there's like the pinned post. Kind yeah, of the thing pinned, the yeah they're like the mm -hmm. pinned posts because you're supposed to actually pay attention to them. <laughs> <laughs> and One I thing. just learned what I just learned. What I just learned is how, is how to use bookmarks. Like, how do you use bookmarks? And yesterday, I've been here seven years. And yesterday, I put up a project. I spent half a day working on the project. You know, the first post, and I wasn't ready to publish it, so I saved it as a draft. Um. And later on in the day, I went back to work on my draft and it was gone. Mm. And I'm like, um, where, where, where's my draft? Where, where is it? Mm. And so I found out that it wasn't where the place where it's supposed to be, because after you, in case you've had noticed, if you ever save anything, you know, it comes up with, an, you say, do you want to save this? Save. It comes up with another screen. It's, do you really want to save mm. this? And you have to hit yes. And if you don't hit that yes button, it doesn't save it. So it's like mm -hmm. a double, it's a double check. So I had to start all over, but here I'm I am so learning, sorry. learning new yeah. stuff all over again, wasted the whole day. Michelle, that's, but, that's, I never knew we had a save function. Okay. I've yeah. been with this thing for what, since 2010. I you never knew we had a draft. save function. I've never, <laughs> you, you see a good example that, that it, there's, we need, I know I, I've made a video called what, welcome to our forums or whatever, but that's, it's old now. It's probably, you know, eight years old um but make another one please i'd like to um so i was speaking of last month's um you remember last month we had um we we my brain just went completely fog. oh we talked about the um that plug in the uh npr whatever the name of it that plug in that we added remember that the equalization and it was one plug in that had seven or eight different things you could do Nope. You weren't you that. weren't there. Oh you, no wonder I don't remember. You signed okay. us in and then you left. Oh, okay. But but and I, I I recorded it and you asked me where's the recording. But I'm gonna have to edit that recording 
because it it <laughs> it started out featuring the one minute test of a brand new person and it you know was analyzing this poor girl's one minute test and i was like no we're not going to do that on a recording <laughs> <laughs> i mean that would be that would be over the top i think so i want to edit that part of it out so it's kind of hard to to put it put the beginning in and then skip a part and have it look natural you know hey you know, welcome to the wonderful world i mean i yes it's wonderful um we're, we're talking about uh librivox okay i'm going to show you my screen because i can <laughs> because i can here we go this is our forum i think y'all can see the forum right Ooh. Uh, hopefully y'all can can anybody see it raise your hand mm -hmm. okay good i i don't know i was teaching a class last week <laughs> and i was just talking away about where i mean and they couldn't see what i was talking about at all and i was uh, they were somewhere else i had oh well once again i'm always wondering um the let's go to i just wanted to show you some stickies you see, these yeah, over here stickies or stickies mm. Do, do, do. Now, to start a collaborative you should, when you make your video, Michelle, mm -hmm. show, show about the lock. That means you nobody can can change it and add to that. No, you can't add to that. You can watch it. And you can't change it. Okay. Right. Um, here is our new pro. We only have two projects in the new project. Those and solo. when it's red, it means that you haven't looked at it yet, or it, it means, means there's something new. That's right. That's right. Oh, just go up here. Mm -hmm. Back here. When we have a readers wanted all this stuff so make it and talk about all that good stuff because everything on here I is will. important i will I, I, will. I can i just give a shout out uh, one thing i i spend a lot of time in the projects threads but i've also gotten so much from from um the the lower section of the screen where it says like news announcements mm -hmm. and so yeah. forth and can mm -hmm. i just say i i was so I just sometimes I just go there to to make myself feel better. That that thread about uh, thanks to the LibriVox volunteers. Where is that? Uh, under um, suggestions, comments, news, discussion. Okay, all right. And then there's a thank you thread to LibriVox readers. That is so. I I've just gotten so much, mm -hmm. so much wow. enjoyment out of that. I have not. Thank at you. first, at first, it's you know, I see six hundred and eighty-five other... pages. Oh, it's, it's just, I just think it's so <laughs> inspiring. I find, you know, what I found in there is, you know, other thank you notes from other readers for readers that were personally really important to me, mm -hmm. like readers that I've enjoyed at LibriVox. You see how they impacted other people. Mm -hmm. People tell personal stories about how, you know, thank you, you helped me through my, you know, family illness or, yeah. oh, it's just. Wow, that is it, wonderful. It, <laughs> the stories that people tell about how much they appreciate what LibriVox has meant to them is just, mm -hmm. it's just so lovely. It's, it's marvelous to look at. It really is. I, I appreciate you saying that. I, I've, I don't come here enough. That's cool. I mean, look at all these thank you. Well, oh, look. Yeah. And it's like 600 pages long. So yeah, I usually right. start at the back because I want to see like the most current <laughs> ones. Most current <laughs> ones. But I, I, see people, I see people say, you know, thank you so much for for your reading on this book. That it also has, you know, introduced me to other readers and their books. And oh, mm -hmm. it's just marvelous. Mm -hmm. I, I want to share something with y'all that I was not aware of. I mean, I mean, I was aware of, but um, you know how <clears throat> when we came to this page, it brought us straight here to the page. This this message was sent October fifteenth, two thousand and ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, that that's that's on page one. <clears throat> on page one, and if you go all the way, oh, you don't have to go to the back. I you can rearrange that. I mean, and say I want it. I want it. I want it to be. Um, oh. I want the new ones to be oh. put in the front. So that's when right. I come I, on that's here, how I have mine show me the very latest one. So <clears throat> I, I've just gone through and changed a lot of my things so that every the new the new messages are are at the when I open up, they're right there, and mm -hmm. it goes backwards. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? I, I'm going like mm -hmm. to change all mine now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing, if you go to the top of the page and you click on the little wrench, see the little wrench right there? Yes. At drop down, <clears throat> you can bookmark this topic. Right there. 
And if you bookmark it, then anytime someone adds to this topic, it will show up here in your notifications. You see the upper right mm -hmm. corner where it says notifications? Yeah, you right see here. that, Phil? Uh -huh. 396. Yeah. You click on that. <laughs> and when you click on it, go ahead and click on it, Phil. Click on notification. The most recent post is from in you. all of your bookmarked Telling projects me that my link is will be at okay. the top. So that way you'll be apprised of every time you get a post to this thing that you're following, whatever it is that you really okay. like to follow. Also, when you bookmark it, you should get an email telling you that there's been a, a, a note in that thread. <clears throat> That's how I keep track of my projects. Phil? Just, oh, um, <clears throat> Phil? Bookmark. Yes, Christine? I have a question. Um, how do I subscribe to this forum so that I get notifications of the links to Zoom and so on? Okay. <clears throat> okay. It's the Suppose... same thing. You go to the wrench. Click on the, well, let's, the let's find the one you want here. Which, yeah, which, that what, where we are, let's say Zoom. If you go up here to the wrench and you say, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to subscribe. You see right there, it says unsubscribe. I'm all, I'm if you weren't subscribed, it would say subscribe. But if you so it's on the it, main page of the forum, it's not on yeah. the list. Uh, that say you that find again. the wrench. Well, let's go back the to the main. In the, in the forum, each forum. Okay, so I have to click on a forum to get the ranch. That is yeah. correct. Suppose every time there's something new in the new projects launch pad, oops, there's nothing here. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. Well, it's, not, it's not the right it's, time. Okay, so um, readers wanted, I don't know, books. Okay. So click if you on wanted it, to. One of the books, anyone. Uh, if you wanted to open the social gangster. Ah. You if could, you wanted to subscribe to that, for some so reason, I'm keep your, I? no, you're not subscribed to it. It says oh, I it am. does say you're subscribed, so it unclick does. it, unclick it. And yeah, I don't want to be unsubscribed. Okay. Towards, now I you're unsubscribed. I get enough emails about my the stuff that I have to do. Okay, <laughs> that's helpful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But hey, anytime you, you post to any forum or any one of these projects, you're automatically subscribed. I, oh, I, okay. Phil, I think you're. I think you're now subscribed to this. I've unsubscribed. No, oh, you, have you, to, you I, now I have to unsubscribe. You're now subscribed. You have to unsubscribe. I am on. Oh, me? You're talking to me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, if you I, see I'm that, looking, it's telling, I, no, it's telling you to. You have to unsubscribe that topic, or you'll start oh, getting notifications. I'm, okay, thank it'll you. Show, thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Of what you okay. Are, I'm you know. Yeah, I'm. I'm backwards. I'll be here. Okay. I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm doing good. Okay. Let's stop this. Do 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 do. Social here. gangster. And we're back in the. Oh, Mary showed up. <clears throat> There's Mary. Oh, uh, finally you got my let message, me apologize Mary. to everybody. Once again, technology has defeated me, but but we're not going to let that stop us, right, Mary? <laughs> okay, I want to mention my project again. If you think Bye, you know Mary. how to do it, to Bye. make a video saying this is how I record to show us what you do. And I'm hoping to have, you know, 10, 15, 20 of these little videos that I can watch and say, oh, that's how Mary, Mary holds it in her lap and she talks you know, right. into her laptop or, or Michelle, I don't know, uh, goes over here and, and just so you want us to record a little video. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, and we I'm, could actually, if we have zoom on our computer, we could record it on a zoom. Yes. You could record it on zoom and then save your recording. Uh, that's, that's how I ended up doing it. Cause I couldn't do it any other way. And, and I'll tell you, it. there's some other topics that I am keenly interested in. <laughs> And that one is how do people edit their work? Well, that's the next one. Once they've recorded it. Yeah. We and um, no, start and simple, I, Michelle. I have don't a be, we're recording first, and now we, then we're going to go to how I edit. How do I feel edit? free to make the video if you want? Uh, I'm, I'm curious about that too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've only done shorter works so far, and you know, recorded at one sitting, and and you know, done all my editing without having to paste pieces together but i'm curious about how you do a longer work that you you know you can't record all at one city how do you paste it all together gee well i just don't stop i just i just start recording <laughs> and i mean when i when i have to get up and get get some coffee or i just 
pause, press stop pause. It, and then come back in an hour or two hours or next day and pick it up and keep keep recording. Why? So, so it is possible to just pause and, and walk away. Right. Yeah. Now, if Do you if you pause, for, if you record in the morning and then you stop it and come back and finish it in the evening, your ambient noise in the uh, in your okay. surroundings is generally okay, different oh, sorry. Nico, morning and night, and your voice is different morning yeah. and night. Yeah. So I uh, don't make that big a difference. I'm, it I, doesn't make it, a big difference. Uh, not to me. Some people I, it does. I'm not picky. My voice changes. I'm, I'm hoarse a little. I just put it all together and by golly, <laughs> what they get is what they get. Um, like, if, for example, I have a real high pitched voice anyway, but certain times of day it's much higher. <laughs> but I've learned that in the evenings, I can use the um, bass and treble. I can, I can also use the, um, there's one other thing I can use to like lower it down just ever so slightly and make them match. You can make your voice match. Oh. Like you can make amplification match. You can mm -hmm. also make yeah. bass and treble match. And you can also, okay. there's a lot of things you can make match just um, with a little tiny bit of tweaking. You can, if you use uh, editing program, what Michelle saying is right. She, you, you can change it. You can change your tone. You can change a lot of things if you want to. Uh, I want to go to the, to the wiki. Everybody should know, new people, that we have a wiki. Uh, it's up here, way at the top. It says right here. You click on the wiki. Oh, yeah. There we are. Now, if you want to know about a topic, you can type it in here. Now, I'm going to push this one, which is, um, uh, let's call it videos. Tutorial. What I meant to say there was you could change your pitch. It's really cool. You can just barely change yes. your pitch a little higher, a little lower, make it match the, your edits that you're plugging in. You can, you can make them work. Okay. If, suppose I wanted help like with editing. All right. Uh, now, this is instructional videos. Um, this is a page where I, I have a lot of old videos here. One of them here is with editing. I'm working on this page, by the way, to make it more reasonable here. Editing, editing, Yay. editing. Where's editing? I think Magic I just wind. saw it. The basic editing. This is, this is very basic editing. Okay. Cutting out mistakes, putting in new phrases, cutting spaces, very basic. This is for the completely bewildered and how I edit. Oh, look, that's, that's, believe me, I know what it feels like to be completely bewildered when you open up that program. There's all these buttons and wiggles and things all over the place. Well, I know it. I know it's in here somewhere. Well, now there's a new feature they put in here. I can push control and what is it? F, control F. Yes, edit. Come on, it's not doing anything. Oh, you're able to edit the wiki? No, no, I, I'm looking for how I edit, but it's- You need get, more of the, the, you got the word edit too many, in too many places. Oh, I you see, it's all words. over the place, Never mind. Oh, wow. Um, look, look, do your- um, how, how, Okay, here it is, right. You see how I edit my recordings. Um, now I have, I've done this over the years. I did this back in 2011. I made another one in- Oh, actually, only in 2012. Okay, I thought I made more than that. Uh, but it's it's there to show he's bad and he's mad this time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, this shows how I, you asked the question, Winifred, about, you know, going, coming back and picking up things. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so I'd when like... you made these videos, you used uh, like Windows video or something how did you record your videos back then i i, I think i used a program called um uh, camp studio camp, camp studio. studio and you and, recorded them you you've got them stored where well i got them stored but they're all on youtube this is just the oh, link okay. they're on youtube if you if, if you how you i have like it. your own channel or something i've got my own channel yeah i've got phil's uh help videos or something and listen to the music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
there's a lot of, of videos that are already up there. That. I'd like to make a whole section. You can't see me. Yes, you can. I'll make the, like how I edit and, and show how, how Winifred edits, how Patrick edits, how Michelle mm. edits. Mm-hmm. Because some people use, um, uh, do it like I do the old fashioned way. Some people use this uh, where they just, they, they edit as they move along, as they record. What do you call mm-hmm. that, Michelle? Oh, I don't know, but I'm, I just can't do that. It just it's, it's, takes, it just I, breaks up everything I'm saying. I can't I just, do it. I have to just talk, 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 and then but once again, edit out the extraneous material later. Anyway, I'm going to stop sharing it. But anyway, our wiki has a lot of things. And this page has a bunch. I'm thinking of breaking out everything into a separate page so that when you do a search, like you want to know how to um, uh, getting into our forums here, it would come up on its own page. But once again, so, I'm... I think I think that's that's uh, some of the difficulty I had was was finding things because there is just so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is it's overwhelming. It over, that's why mm-hmm. I thought a search. All I'm interested in is my bit rate. How do I fix my bit rate? We should be able a person should be able to go straight to the wiki page for that or the video for that mm-hmm. without having to go. Oh gee, where is it on this big page? <laughs> mm-hmm. One, what I think one thing I found really um, helpful for me about editing personally was actually um, something I read in one of the forums. One of the, uh, uh, you know, one of the admin team was working with someone on, um, on, on proof listening a file and, and, she, and she said some, some um, changes were indicated. Anyway, it was so helpful to read her um, her response to to the re, to the to the um, you know to the person doing the recording because she pointed out in a way I had not heard before that editing is part of the process. So she's like, you know, mm-hmm. if you want to do this and you want to enjoy it, real you know, get used to the idea of editing. You don't have to redo your whole piece just because of one more small mistake, you know. And she <laughs> exactly. said. She said, not only is that a waste of your time, it's a waste of the proof listeners time who would then have to listen to an entire. I think that was my post, Patrick. I think that was me. (laughs) It was so helpful to me because, you know, when I first started out, I started out reading, um, you know, the, the, the weekly poems and they tend to be short and I would start at the beginning. And if I stumble over a word, I'd be darn it and record the whole thing over and over and over. <laughs> now, in a place. short piece, I might still, you know, opt to record the whole thing over, but, you know, I was getting very frustrated with myself because I wasn't able to come up with a clean file from beginning to end. <laughs> Just, you know, you think I'll sit there, I'll read it, it'll be easy, yeah. but it's not so easy. <laughs> so it was so helpful that post that pointed out, look, editing is the other 50 or 60% of, this whole project. So, you know, you know, you know, it's like 75%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I found that the editing and that is not something I've ever done in my life, but I agree, uh, Patrick, that, you know, it, but now I'm, I'm learning so much and I'm actually enjoying it. It's fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, the mm-hmm. editing part is fun now. And uh, so, mm-hmm. but, but I, when I started this too, I had no idea how much I was going to have to know about editing. And, and little things, right. Do, do you find that you're, that you pick up your own little techniques. Like if I'm if I'm reading through and I come up across a word that I'm pretty sure I have the right pronunciation, but that's a word I would want to double check rather than stop or whatever. I'll just read it both ways right. and then come back and take out the way that I don't exactly like. Exactly. You know? That's what we do. Or read it three or four different ways. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, or you could actually do what some people do is pre-read the text. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, do um, I don't do that but you could go and copy all the words that you don't mm-hmm. know how to pronounce then you can go up to the pronounce.com or whatever and get those pr- correct pronunciations mm-hmm. and then you could read your piece and without <laughs> having to do all that but yeah, i think sometimes actually- my problem is i double check I, I i double guess myself second guess myself so i was i, I had the word hostile in a reading mm-hmm. and i'm reading it and it's like hostile and i'm like that sounds funny should i say hostile you know, and that's the kind of thing that is hostile, even a pronunciation, or is that just your New York accent coming? But through? The, either one of those <laughs> is perfectly fine. Actually. So yeah. actually, I opted for both, and then I'll take that's out it. the one that I don't like. But, uh, but like, so for little example, tips like that I found so helpful. 
I put up a project on Dale Car on um, Andrew Carnegie, and it's pronounced Carnegie by some people and mm -hmm. Carnegie by other people. Mm -hmm. So I had to wrestle as BC. I had to wrestle with: Do I put a notice? Because it was written in it was in his own voice. Okay, mm -hmm. it wasn't like about him. It was him, his writing. I said it'd be good if he was pronouncing his name the same all the time. So I found a little video somewhere online of him speaking and mm -hmm. he pronounced it Carnegie. So I put a note in the first post, please pronounce it Carnegie. I'll be right back folks. Y'all keep you know, talking. A lot yeah. of times people don't, the BC has the authority and the right to ask for certain pronunciations on, you know, on certain things if, if they feel like that's necessary. Mm -hmm. um, like when I was, I BC'd a big, big project by Harriet Beecher Stowe called Dread, uh, Tale of the Great Dismal Swamp. And it was about a family and the lead character, her name was N-I-N-A. And I played her part, but she was referred to throughout the book. And the first other person that came in, came in and called her Nina. And so I was like, no, no, no. I have to put this in the first post that for this book, we're going to call her Nina. Mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. just have to pick one and go with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it helps if you're going to be see a project, if there's a, if there's, yeah. you know, like um, pronunciations that are real important to you, go ahead and give your characters some clues as to how to pronounce things. Yeah. Well, and there yeah, must be so many variations because readers are from all over. Yeah, yeah but when, when you're doing, yeah, you have to use ju your judiciousness because, you know, you have to allow yeah. for different pronunciations. I'll never, never forget. I'm from Louisiana and Nova did a special called um, Goodbye, Louisiana. It was done 20 years ago. And it was all about how they're concreting the Mississippi River, right? And 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 all of the over the flooding and the overflowing that is normal was was being artificially prevented, <clears throat> which meant for a lot of backwater flooding areas further up high. But anyway, the the author, the um, narrator of the whole piece was uh, Charlton Heston, or a big big name, and he constantly referred to the. Atchafalia River mm -hmm. and the Atchafalia Swamp. And I'm like, no, it's the Atchafalia Swamp, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is what it is. And throughout the whole thing, nobody corrected him on that, which really made me very upset, made me very sensitive to correct pronunciations mm -hmm. of certain proper names, not just every name, you know, different people pronounce things differently. But when you're talking about proper names, you know, um, it's kind of important and the BC, if they're picky about it, they really should mm -hmm. give you some clue, you know, what to say. And I think that's, you know, that's, um, you know, a favor to the reader too, because, mm -hmm. you know, the reader's liable to be stressing about, I don't want to be pronouncing this wrong or mm -hmm. I don't want, you know, so there was a, there was a weekly poem posted a little while ago that, um, that I enjoyed reading, but I wasn't sure, how, I wasn't sure about one of the main words in the title. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I don't usually listen to other people's stuff because, you know, it's, I'm just going to do my stuff. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I don't know how to pronounce this word. How are other people pronouncing it? Right. So at well, least I can be, so at least we to. can all be wrong. So. Yeah, that's, that's called being conscientious. I, I, as BC, I really appreciate it when my, when my readers are conscientious. I but had, as uh, you were talking about people not knowing to edit, I had a, I had a gal one day came and sent me like a 15 minute hello chapter oh I'm sorry with no editing whatsoever she just sent it to me and i wrote it i had to write her back and i said uh dear you need to edit your work before you send it in and she came back she said oh i didn't know that i thought y'all did that well so it's not what we think is so obvious sometimes it's, it's not, not obvious to a brand new person yeah. Yeah. So it has to be spelled out and then they have to read it, you know, 
Yeah, well, that's the other yes. thing. You have to get people to read the stuff that's up there. <laughs> oh, it, it's we, we all know that, you know, when you got a big page of instructions, I, I just skip to that. I'll do it and they'll tell me what's wrong. But I, I want to thank you all for coming. We still have a couple more minutes. Um, uh, it's uh, I apologize to everyone who had difficulty with the uh, link. Uh, I try to be very careful with that. But once again, I, I screwed up. <laughs> Uh, but thank, thank you I'm all for sure coming. you would have had at least 100 people here if you hadn't screwed that yeah. I know well, I don't, it's fine with me I just appreciate all the new people I appreciate the old people and I love LibriVox because like Michelle knows that's joy in my life I like to read I, mm -hmm. I like to record uh, to me it's performing and mm -hmm. editing is not that much fun but I've gotten quite good oh, at it. I think it's a I lot think. of fun. I've edited other people's work too. Yeah, I put do. a project up years ago where no. I had a man, I wanted to put on the um, the things I'd like to, you know, things I'd like to do. I put up a project by Theodore Roosevelt and uh, the man came along. He said, oh, I'd like to read this one, but I don't have time to edit it. I said, that's okay. You read it. I'll edit it. And I got this backlash from, I can't remember what you am saying. We don't do that. We don't edit other people's work. In fact, we don't, we don't BC other soloists work. And I was like, what rule does that violate? We're going to mm -hmm. end up with a project. Okay. It's going to be BC. It's going to be edited. It's going to be. So I, I think I've got the reputation of being a little like a, Hey, look, pioneer. We're, we're, <laughs> you know, a bunch of people. It's just very simple thing. So don't be uh, afraid to be a pioneer. You Michelle's know, just, a rapper. Can I, can I ask one? No, one, just a couple oh, of sure. just a couple of weeks ago, somebody um, I was DPLing on a project by a seasoned reader. I was going to be the DPL. So on the first post, he skipped all the stuff, skipped all the instructions and stuff. You know, it's just the just bare bones because I knew what I was doing. He knew what he was doing. You know, name of file, intro, outro. That's it. Skip all the proof, listener standards, and everything else. And the first thing that happened was he got a post back and say, "You know, you're not allowed to strip all that stuff out." And he's like, "Why? We don't need it." <laughs> you know, and we 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 stripped it out. It, it was just too many extra words. None of it was needed. So <laughs> I say, be a pioneer. <laughs> If you if you feel like it's efficient and if it works, and I've, I've done a whole lot of great projects that way. You sure have. Hey, can hey, can look, I ask one? Can I ask yeah, one yes. question? Sure, um, Patrick, go ahead. Yeah, just just one one technical question. I I submitted a chapter. It was it was a short chapter. I was happy with the reading, um, but I found that I had over processed it. You know, the thing that really surprised me was on my headphones it sounded fine. And on my laptop, it sounded fine. But when it got up to the LibriVox, you know, server or whatever, it, it, I was really, un, I was disappointed by the way it sounded. Hmm. Um, so I double checked with, you know, I, chopped, I checked with, with the book coordinator and, and she said, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So I was like, okay, fine. You just move on. You know, <laughs> I tend to get stuck on things. So I'm like, just move on. But I'm working on something now that's about an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid that if I overprocess it, the quality is not going to be there. So I'm, the short version is, is there a place I, would I upload that to the test site if I wanted to see what it sounded like? Or am yes. I? Yes. You can, or, no, you can, you know, you I don't can want to, I don't want to very, upload it to the project site. Yeah, right? upload it to the project. Just don't post notice of it in the forum. Oh, oh, okay. Up, I mean, you'll know it's there. You'll get the, you'll get the test link, copy it, paste it on a notepad in your, you know, on your mm -hmm. desktop or whatever. Then you can listen to it when you're satisfied with it, then post notice to the forum that it's ready to be listened to. Okay, so if terrific. you post That's a new version, perfect. will that replace the, the original? Yes, it okay. will. Yes, it, it will. And, and, if you, and if you don't pay attention to your section number, for example, and your assignment mm. is section eight, but you accidentally oh. put section nine, it will erase the other person's. Yes, oh. it will. Oh, oh no. That's I, right. saw, I saw that you long thread about that. Don't do that, please. Let's oh, I made that mistake. I had to fix it. 
Mm -hmm. I did. I read section 20, but it was chapter nine and I put nine. I hope mm -hmm. I didn't and erase you, somebody. And you wiped out section nine. probably right? did. Oh, yeah. Y'all gotta, gotta be really careful. It doesn't it, actually wipe it out. It renames the old file. It's still there. So if you ever mm -hmm. do that, you just need to notify the, the, um, the, on the forum say, oops, I misnamed my file. And then it would be the MC's job to go and look, find your, or oh, yeah, I think it puts a one after it or something and they can go back and reinstate okay. that for you. They, they were the but ones it is a serious the problem that books can actually get cataloged and these things are not mm -hmm. noticed. So what Lisa? Oh. careful about that. Lisa, did you want to say something? No, no, I was just oh. saying that the, actually it was the, uh, the the listener, I think, was the one who notified me that I made the problem. So they probably had already fixed it all. They probably, you know, fixed the other one mm -hmm. and uh, reclaimed the real chapter, the real section. <laughs> <tonight. So. laughs> yeah. Well, look, it, it's it's how this works is, is still amazes me. I mean, it's a it's a Rube Goldberg we we and but the point is we turn out a hundred books a month and it's amazing how all this works and, and and there's so many things that could go wrong patrick and our the 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 the, the file names a little bit off but it works i'm i'm impressed um we had a we had a, a graduate student uh in in business administration recently asked to talk to a administrator of, of librivox to because he has his assignment from his professor was to talk to somebody to get to understand how this is organized and you know not not this particular program but quote a nonprofit so and the answers it was I mean he posted a wonderful post asking for this and what's the answer was like gee we don't have anybody like that <laughs> um, I mean it's it's we're all kind of here, but there, no, there it, it, it's, a, it's a group consensus of how to do stuff with no administration. I mean, no, mm -hmm. and some, one, some person came up with this wonderful analogy. It's like somebody said 15 years ago, hey, I'm gonna go dig a huge hole over there. Who wants to come help me? And then <laughs> all of these people go, yeah, and, we just, and we're gonna give away the dirt free. And he said, that's what we do. digging his hole and giving away the dirt. <laughs> thinking, what a, what a wonderful dirt. thing. So, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know, well, maybe I know. that doesn't sit well with some people, but it's me. It's like, <laughs> wow, it. I'm all excited. Let's go dig a big hole. <laughs> Folks, I, I want to thank you all for coming. Ice cream. Um, this has been recorded, and I'm okay. going to eventually get down and put it on um i'll put it in the announcement thread or in the in the, in the uh, zoom thread thank you all again for okay. coming uh i hope you thank record you. lots of books folks to everybody okay all right <laughs> bye -bye. see you thank next you month folks. thank you folks bye -bye. Oh, bye -bye. Or, or tonight bye -bye. at 11 if y'all want to come back at 11 o'clock tonight sure <laughs> come on i'll be here <laughs>